What's up guys, Jeff Vinegar here in Madison, Wisconsin today, taking science to the street. Let's go. You have artificial sweetener in yours, which has filler, dextrose, and I have sweet tart powder in mine. Now it's time to light it on fire. Holy! That is burning really hot. Cow! One, One two, two, three. three. Oh! oh! Dean, what happened? Oh, Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Second law, right there. So what makes biofuels a good alternative to gasoline? The energy of the colors actually goes in the order of the rainbow. You know, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and that can actually draw oh, that's cool. on the glow-in-the-dark material. Neat. It's a lot of scientists that have cool hobbies, interesting people. Mine just happens to be popping, and I'm kind of using that as an example to get kids to think, you know, that science can be cool. You can kind of think of a person carrying a lot of boxes you know, a really big tower, and they're kind of handling it, but if you add one more box, or if they knock into something, it all falls down. The science here is helping researchers produce a homegrown alternative to gasoline. So I kind of want this ink to fade faster. Okay. Which is why I have here some more carbon dioxide. You know, we don't have enough, so uh, I'll help you get it off. We breathe in oxygen and our body burns it, but if you eat too much candy on Halloween, then the extra gets stored as fat, and it's bad for your teeth. So instead, you actually want to make rocket fuel with your candy. You want to make rocket fuel. It.